Hello Internet! First of all, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thanks to a wee boost I got from So Becca, whose channel you should definitely check out. My subscriber count went up by about 30%, which is really exciting. So, to all of you new people, just so you know what you're letting yourself in for here, I mostly post videos about random crafty projects I'm working on and interesting places I've traveled to although you kind of have to be patient for those because given my past record it can sometimes take up to a year before I get around to editing all the videos from a big trip and sometimes like this video I just talk about random stuff that's been happening in my life. One thing you should probably know about me is that I'm non-binary which means that my gender is not female or male, it's something else entirely. I've got more videos about what that means if you want to have a look back through my channel. And because I'm non-binary, if you're talking about me, please use they pronouns, not he or she. So you might say something like, hey, I was watching Future Cat's video the other day and they said that half square triangles are a pain to make. So on with the video. There have been some really big changes in the Future Cat household lately. My nephew and his girlfriend have moved in to my backyard. When my nephew was really little, we always used to joke that when he came to university, he was going to come and flat with me and we'd go to university together. Of course, when he grew up, my house is not big enough to have another person living in it, and certainly not two people when he got a girlfriend. And my only spare room is my sewing room, and he's not getting that. But then late last year, he came to me with a proposition and said, how would you feel if I got a caravan and put it in your backyard and lived in that. He pointed out that a really good self-contained caravan would cost less than a year's rental in Christchurch. So it was actually an economically sound proposition and he convinced me that it is actually possible to live in a caravan for a year and not freeze to death in winter or anything. So we spent the summer working out all the details and did a lot of work in my backyard. We had to rip out the big flax bush to make enough space for the caravan and trim some trees so that it could be manoeuvred into the space.
still got a bit of more work to do in the backyard um, to get things ready for winter, like we want to put some paving down under the caravan so it doesn't turn into a quagmire under it when it rains. Bit of other cleaning up that needs to be done, but it's looking really good. My nephew and his girlfriend moved in a few weeks back and so far it's all working out really well. So, I have new neighbours now. Hello. Hello internet. <laughs> I'm Caleb. Hi, I'm Caleb's girlfriend. <laughs> Now going to be known to the world as Caleb's girlfriend. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Caleb is my nephew. I'm studying chemistry at Canterbury. And I am studying midwifery at RR Polytechnic. Yeah. Okay, don't forget to do all those nice internet -y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. Say hi to my new neighbours. And we'll see you next Press time. Press the like button. Yeah, subscribe. Bye internet. Bye internet. Bye. <laughs> On my blog and stuff, you're nephew number one and you're like niece outlaw. So <laughs> <laughs> niece outlaw? Well you're not niece in law, so no. you're like <laughs> I am niece outlaw? Yeah. Yes. That's fine. <laughs>